to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So today, without a much um, talk, let's just get uh, straight to the business of the day. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this uh, off shoulder dress. So you see, it has an elastic on top of it. So I'm going to be showing you and uh, show you from the picture that is above the, the picture on the screen rather it is actually a top if you look at it closely you see that it's actually a top that was worn on top of the pencil skirt so i'm going to show you how to achieve the top part so with this top part you could adapt it into any bodies of your choice you could adapt it into a, a blouse you could adapt it into a gown so you could basically so the essence of this video is for you to know how to do the top part so we're going to be adding an elastic to it we're not going to be casing the elastic we're just going to be putting it directly so i'm going to show you how to achieve that all in this video so guys uh, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new um, video that's just the essence of that bell so once you click it and uh, my online uh, classes and uh, registration is still ongoing so you could um if you want to register for the class you could um just uh, see my number on the screen you could screenshot it and send me a message you have to register for the class the class is a registered and um, class so let's just get uh, started so i have my i'm making use of two yards of fabric for this and um, project the essence i could use one yard but because of the sleeve so two yards will be okay let's um continue let me fold out the fabric now okay guys so i folded out uh, my fabric so i'm going to explain to you how i did um, the fold so i have the back and the front piece both of them are folded and the same this dress does not have a zipper at the back so the first line that i have here is two inches that's from this top point to this point is two inches the essence of these two inches is for me to and that's the parts that we're going to be making like the paper bag so because if you notice you see the top of the the dress it actually has something like a paper bag and top so this is the part we're going to use for this i decided to use a two inches so you could decide to use 1.5 depends on how big you want it to be why i did two inches is because i'm going to fold it like this so at the end of the day it's going to be one inch so that's why i did and two inch and then from this point now so this point now this line now is now our start line you understand this is now our start line where i'm going to be dropping by five inches for the picture that i showed you earlier what was dropped was actually more than five inches it was maybe like six or six and a half inches because you could see that it's really, really dropped but a modest one i would advise use and um, five inches unless you, if you want it to drop you could use six inches or you could even use four inches if you want it covered more so this is now going to be our start line and then the, that's the five inches drop which is the regular five inches so um let me hide this so in order not to confuse you so that one is tucked in so this is our regular and um, five inches line now and then this is my bust point which is 10 inches that's the nipple point and then the full length of the dress is 18 inches so you could make it as long as you want so that's for the lines that I have. The next thing I'm going to do now, the first uh, measurement we're going to impute, that's the width of the fabric I used on my chest line measurement. So you put your tape like this on your chest, that's on the top of your chest. I hope my camera captures this. You put it like this on your chest like this. And then you measure, you measure what i have here is uh, actually 14 inches normally you're supposed to divide it into two so you divide it into two and then you place like this this is the seven inches because of the elastic this is the seven inches when you divide the 14 into two this is seven inches because of the elastic that we're going to be adding i'm going to add another seven inches you can decide to make it less you can decide to make it more depends on how full you want it to be so if i'm going to add more, another seven inches one two three four five six seven so this is going to be my seven inches so i'm going to leave this one inch i'm going to use that as uh, my seam allowance so that's for that the next thing we're going to do now we're going to start imputing the measurement so uh, for the neckline i'm just going to leave 
leave it this way we're not adding any neckline it's because it is straight the only thing we're going to do now i'm going to come to this part and then i'll measure out the armhole line and then you are going to remember so i'm going to hide this back so that i'll cut it out before trimming that part out for the armhole my armhole that i'm going to use i'm going to make use of eight inches so i'm just going to place it like this on this um, part now because this is the this is the my um chest line part that i measured i'm going to measure out and uh, put drop my normal regular five inches drop and then i'll measure my eight inches so this is eight inches is going to be for my armhole so i'm just going to give it a curve like this because i'm going to add sleeves so i'll get the full so i'll mark it out like this so now you now extend the mark to this point that's this for my arm and then the next measurement i'm going to impute i'm going to impute my bust measurement so for the bust because you could see it is not um, really it's very tight to on top so for my um, bust i'm going to use um 40 inches which is 10 you divide into into four and then i'm going to add a little bit of allowance maybe two inches allowance so from this point i'm just going to mark like this and then from this point, I'm just going to maintain the bust line measurement. So what I have here, I'm going to bring it down to this point. And then I'll connect with a straight ruler like this. So I'm going to cut it out now. So you see how simple it is. Okay, well done. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to the front and um, part. I'm going to add because this the top does not have any allowance, uh, it does not have any and that. So I'm going to come. This is the front piece. I'm going to put a notch here. The essence of putting this notch, I'm going to open this part because I'm going to add um something like a band, but the band is not going to run through. The band is not going to run through. The entire width of the dress the band is just going to be on this part I'm going to attach it to this part so I'm going to make create an opening here of about and um, two or three inches I'm going to create an opening of about two inches so the essence of creating this and um, okay I, I will, could make it less let me just make it about one inch or 1.5 <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> 1.5 inches so i'll just i'll just cut it out like this just a little bit like this so i'll cut it open <clears throat> like this <clears throat> so the essence of this um of me creating this is to enable me add this here like this on this on this front piece just to enable me add it to make it simple you could decide to add it this way to elongate the down part of your your dress and then it comes so you'll be able to tie it out or you could decide to just um attach it on this point like this that's this point that i that i cut out so you are going to make this part <coughs> sorry it's going to be uh, 1.5 the same 1.5 that we use so we're going to attach this on this part and then attach this also on this part so all i'm going to do now is just for me to trim this point because it's going to be folded <coughs> excuse me it's going to be folded into two the band is going to be folded so you could decide how long you actually want it to be you would decide so i'm going to um, mark it like this i'll use 1.5 inches like this so I'm just going to blend it up to this point and then I will trim this out. So the essence of doing this is for it to fit and properly into this um, spot. For it to fit properly into this spot and then it comes like this. And then for this other part, you could decide to uh, leave it straight like this. Or you could decide to uh, give it a slant just to, just to give. So when you tie your bow, 
just to give it a beauty so you could decide to just hit it this way so this actually gives and fit into the bow so when it drops so this i'm going to go and sew and turn i'll just sew it and then turn it and then from this part that's where i'm going to turn it and then i'll iron it so that is for the bow so this one is out of the way the next thing we're going to do now i'm going to cut out the sleeve so in cutting out the sleeve so i'm just going to keep the back piece on the side okay now we're going to measure out the sleeve so for my sleeve the length of the sleeve that i'm going to use i have a 19 inches you remember you know this and two inches for the casing is going to be is included in my sleeve so and then the width that i use i actually use that 13 inches plus allowance so you could and since it is a bishop sleeve so you are meant to make it big so because of the this down part also i'm going to be using uh, an elastic for it so this is just like the easiest way of uh, making this sleeve for this kind of odd off shoulder and dress what you are going to do you are just going to take it like this and then place it you see i've placed it like this you just uh, mark you create out the same curve for it and then from this part you come like this and then you just uh, open it up a little bit on the down part so with that you are going to get it perfectly well and easy so i'm just going to cut it now so the width that i use I, so i'm so sorry i forgot to mention it the width that i actually use you know my uh you are going to use for this kind of thing you are going to use half of your round arm hold measurement and mine is actually 10 inches my round arm hold is 10 inches so when you divide 10 into two you have five inches i added one two three four five inches so this extra one inch is going to be for my allowance so with that so when the when i ruffle it up with the elastic it's going to fit um properly so the next thing now we're going to go and start stitching so i have all of my pieces together the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to join the back and the front together that's what i'm going to do i'll join them on the side i'll join them on the side i'll use um quarter of an inch to join just join the side like this <clears throat> to the down i'll join it and then i'm going to turn this like i explained to you earlier and then i'll attach it to this point okay i could decide to do that later once i'm done so i'm going to just undo that join the side seam and then i will join the sleeve so i'll do that and then i'll come back and show you I will stitch the sleeve and then I'll join it together. Before we're going to, I'll show you how to ruffle it up. Okay, so um, I finished and um, stitching. I finished joining the top. That's the the dress. I've joined it on the side and then this this is what I did with the sleeve. So I folded. This is the down part of the sleeve. So I folded it like this. So because this part, this down part, I'm going to be adding elastic and then after folding it this is the the other one so i've joined it on the side so i left just a tiny bit of inch where i'm going to pass the elastic this is for the down part this is the top part of the sleeve this is the armhole area so what i'm going to do now with this part i'm going to add i'm going to and join them together this part and this part so i'm going to join them i'm just going to take it i'll turn it and then i'll join on the armhole side So this is the arm hole. this is the down part where i'm going to put the elastic i'm going to join this side now like this i'll join it to this part from the center like this and then i will join this to this part so i'll just join it to the top and then join so i'll do that now and then before we create the case for the elastic okay guys so you could see so i finished joining the shoulder to the main and body so i just want you to see how it is the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to ruffle so you can see how wide it is so you we are going to ruffle the whole of this top part together now so in doing this you could decide to do it in two ways but the simple way that i'm going to do it since i'm going i'm doing a paper bag and waist a paper a, sorry a paper bag and top 
I'm going to, I'm not creating a casing, I'm just creating a casing, but I'm not actually putting the elastic into the casing. So here's what I'm going to do now. On this part, I'm going to use, remember that two inches that was on top that I, I fold. So I'm going to um, fold it in now like this. So I'm just going to take, fold round like this. I'm going to fold it round. So if you want it to be bigger, you could decide to do it. So this is the part where I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to have this part on top. So I'm just going to fold it now. I'm going to fold it round. And then before I'll come and attach the elastic. So I'm going to fold it using the two inches like that. Okay, so you see I finished and stitching it. So this you could decide to do in two ways. You could decide to um, just um, pass um, the elastic through into the casing. But I'm not going to be doing that for this video. So for this I'm going to be stitching my elastic along on this line. So I'm going to stitch. As far as I stitch I'm going to pull. So I just want you to watch and see what I'm going to be doing now. So I'm just going to pick any point that I'm going to start from. So I'm going to pick... And from this um, sleeve and point, I'm going to place my elastic like this. So this one, the elastic is going to be obvious on it, but it's going to be inside. So I'm going to do a top stitch. I'm going to stitch it properly so it doesn't come off as I and stitch along. Okay, so what, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to stitch on this line. That's the first line, the fold line. As I stitch, so you see how much pull I'm pulling my elastic. I'm pulling it to the last limit as I stitch. So I'm just going to pull. You see what I'm doing? I'm pulling it to the last limit as I stitch along. So I'm going to go around like that. So with that, my um, elastic paper waste is going to be uncreated. So I'm going to just um, pull it to the last limit like this as I stitch. Just to create the paper and bag and um, top. So you see how beautiful it is looking already. So I actually did not measure my elastic so I'm just I'm, I'm using it that way. So once I'm done, I'll cut off the excess. So I'm just going to keep going. So you see how beautiful, you see how beautiful it is looking. You see how beautiful it is looking. So once I'm done now, I'm just going to and take it out. So for this part, you can decide to make it shorter. So it depends on how you could decide to use one inch. With that, it will be small. But I like this one. It came out beautifully well. So I'm just going to finish it up right now. Okay, guys. So you could see I finished um, finish, uh, using the elastic. So you see it looks so beautifully well. So you see the inside. So this is how the inside is going to be because the elastic is not hidden. It's just on top. So you see it is it came out beautifully well. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to finish the down part of my dress with uh, the 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 bow that I made. So I'm all I'm going to do, I'm just going to attach it to this part like this and then I'll hem the down part. I'll attach this part. So you could decide to make it um, bigger. So I used about um, 4 inches for mine. So you could decide to make it bigger. That's on fold 4 inches. So and then the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to um, fix the elastic on the sleeve. So I'm just going to use my needle to pass in the elastic through the sleeve. Just to give it that uh, curve effect. And then I'll put it on the mannequin for you to see the final look. Okay guys. So at the end of the day you see what we have. Our dress actually came out and beautifully wet so you could see so you see this um part you could decide to take it out ever if you if you are uh, those people that don't really like to expose much you could even bring it up or if you want to sit down you could just um and place it wherever because of the elastic it will just sit properly and it is looking so beautifully well so like i said you could adapt this into even a peplum dress you could add Adva um, adapt it into any bodies of your choice 
so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you would hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and hit on the notification bell to get updates so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye